Hi friends. I am Yashwadhan and today I am going to tell you how we can test a given NPN transistor or a given PNP transistor or any BJ uh, or the BJT is working perfectly fine or not. To this, uh, to do to tell this, we use a circuit called the BJT tester circuit. Now, the basic working principle of the circuit is nothing but working of BJT as a switch. To do this test, we need an SPDT switch, two 470 ohm resistor, an LED a transistor with a BJT which you want to test, and a 9 volts battery. If you don't have a 9 volts battery, you can use you can use any 9 a 12 volts battery or a 3 volts battery and also this resistance if you don't have a 470 ohm resistance with you you can use any area of resistance which is greater than 240 ohms now for the NPN transistor a positive voltage has to be applied between base emitter junction for the base emitter junction to be forward by us to do this we use an SPDT switch whose one end is connected to the negative positive of this 9 volts battery and to this 470 ohm resistor and other end is grounded now, when I push this SPDT switch in upward position, then a positive voltage with a small voltage drop across this 470 ohm occurs between the base emitter junction due to which base emitter junction is forward by us. So current flows from collector to emitter and this LED turns on. Now, if I push this SPDT switch in downward position, then the base emitter junction is grounded due to which no current flows from collector to emitter and the LED turns off, indicating that Use the NPN transistor is working perfectly fine. To test an NPN transistor, we have connected the negative LED to a collector and positive LED is going to this 470 ohm resistor. Now, to test a PNP transistor, we need to modify the circuit as shown here. For the PNP transistor, a negative voltage has to be applied between base emitter junction for it to be in forward bias condition. To do this, we just reverse the terminals of this battery and we connect the positive LED to collector and negative LED to this 470 ohm resistor. Now, whenever this SPDT switch is in upward position, then a negative voltage with a small voltage drop across this 470 ohm resistor occurs between base emitter junction, which forward biases, so current starts from current starts flowing from emitter to collector and the LED turns on. Now, whenever I push this SPDT switch in the downward position, then the base emitter junction is grounded due to when no current flows from emitter to collector and the LED turns off, which indicates that a used NPN, PNP transistor is working perfectly fine. Friends, to do this test practically, we need a breadboard, an LED, two 470 ohm resistor, an NPN transistor BC547, a PNP transistor 8550 and 9 volts battery cap, some connecting wires, an SBDT switch and a 9 volts battery. I am using uh, NPN I'm using a BC547 as my NPN transistor and a BC8550 as my PNP transistor. But if you want you can use any NPN transistor and any PNP transistor. This is the circuit which I am going to use to test an NPN transistor. Now. If you observe, an SPDT switch contains three flat pins which cannot be directly inserted into this breadboard. So to connect them to the breadboard, you need to either shoulder three wires and use the other end in the breadboard, or else you can connect some wire with alligator clip like have connected. Now, the NPN transistor BC547 which you use has a pin diagram as follows. The first pin is the collector, second is the base and third pin is the emitter. Now, as per the circuit diagram, I have grounded the emitter pin along with the negative of this 9 volts battery and also the third pin of this SPDT switch. The middle to the base pin, I have connected 470 resistor whose other end I am giving into the SB middle pin of SPDT switch. Now to this 470, now to the collector pin, I have connected the negative of this LED, negative of this LED. And the positive of LED is given to this 470 resistor, whose other than is given to this 470 resistor, whose other than is given to the first pin of the SPDT switch, and also to the positive of this 9 volts battery. Now, if I push this SPDT switch in upward position, then the base emitter junction is grounded because whenever I push this SPDT, whenever SPDT switch is in this position, then 
the green wire the switch is closed between green wire and white wire due to which emitter base junction is grounded due to which no current flows from collector to emitter and the LED is not turning on. Now if I push this SBD the switch in downward position then the switch is closed between the yellow wire and the green wire which implies the base emitter junction is forward bias due to which the current starts from collector to emitter and the LED is turning on which indicates that used NPN transistor BC547 is working perfectly fine. Hi friends, this is a circuit diagram which I am going use, which I am using to test a PN and PNP transistor. The PNP transistor which I am using is 8550 which has a pin diagram as the first pin is this emitter, middle pin is the base and the third pin is this collector. Now as per the circuit diagram, I have connected the positive LED to collector and negative of LED I am giving to this 4 cm resistor whose other end is given to this first pin of SPDT switch. Now middle pin of SPDT switch is given to this 4 cm resistor whose other end is connected to the base pin of this SPD base pin of this transistor. Now the emitter pin is grounded along with the positive of 9 volts battery and the third pin of this SPDT switch. Now to, to the first pin of SPDT switch and to this 4 cm on resistor which is connected to LED, we are connecting the negative of 9 volts battery. Now, if I push the switch in the upward position, then, then the switch is closed between this green wire and the white wire, which indicates that base emitter junction is grounded, due to which no current flows from emitter to collector and the LED is not turning on. Now, if I push the switch in the downward position, then, then the switch is closed between this yellow wire and green wire which indicates that base emitter junction is forward bias due to application of a negative voltage now due to which current flows from emitter to collector and the led is turning on which indicates that i use pnp transistor m 8550 is working perfectly fine friends now i'm showing the circuit diagram for the NPN transistor and to test the PNP transistor once again for further clarity. This is a circuit diagram I use for testing a NPN transistor and this is a circuit diagram I use for testing a PNP transistor. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.